relationship with bees goes back, well, beyond history. Um, built before the caves, the first evidence of bees and human beings is probably 10, <coughs> excuse me, 10,000 years ago. And uh, so there was a really a good relationship. The bees stung the humans, the humans took the honey, and, and uh, it was a, a nice stasis. And then the real revolution in beekeeping came in the middle of the 19th century when a uh, clergyman named uh, Langstroth discovered that you didn't have to kill the bees to get the honey out of a hive. And uh, he discovered what was called bee space. And that revolutionized honey production and really created the beekeeping industry. And that's what we are living in still. The, the probably two million, two billion pounds of honey produced in around the world. We, the United States produces about 150 million pounds of that. Um, and um, that's all fine and good. You know, industrialized honey, some local honey. But we have now entered another period of time, what, what I call the age of varroa mites. In the last 25 years, the beekeepers around the world, especially in the United States, have, had, have confronted uh, first a series of uh, attacks of parasitic mites from Asian honeybees, and now there's a lot of other stresses on, the, on, on bees. You probably, everyone's heard in the last three or four years about CCD, colony collapse disorder. Well, as with all complicated things, there are multiple causes for this. You can't point to one particular virus. But the problem for the bees is that they have, um, they have a, a depressed immune system. So every time globalization brings them another pest or virus, they get hammered. So when you're about the fourth round of, of fighting Muhammad Ali, you know, it's pretty, pretty tough. So our problem as beekeepers is to try to keep the bees healthy enough to resist this and still produce honey and still go out and pollinate some of your food. And uh, one of the ironies is that the uh, most important crop for pollinating, um, that, that bees pollinate, are almonds. And almonds are all in California. And that's why, uh, as we speak, as you sit here, more than half of all the bees in the United States are in California pollinating almonds. And they get there on these big semi-trailer trucks, and uh, that, add, but that adds to the stress. Um, so we live in this, in this uh, the, the nice thing about being in Vermont is that we have not had the, this colony collapse disorder because we're mostly really pretty small and we let our bees recover.